Good morning. Friends, I welcome all of you to today's Eucharistic celebration. And I welcome families that have come around to celebrate and to rejoice with uh, our kids as they receive their first communion today. We are also happy to see you here in our church. And we always say in our church, come again and again and again because we love you. Today's homily, I titled it, Do You Really Love Me? Do You Really Love Me? Draw me nearer, nearer to thee, Lord. Draw me nearer, nearer to thee. Draw me closer, closer to thee, Lord. Draw me closer, closer to thee. Lord, my songs every day. Father, draw me nearer. Draw me nearer, nearer to thee. You really love me. Jesus Christ was persecuted, he was tortured, he was scourged, and finally crucified, just like a common criminal. Well, that was not what the apostles were expecting. Having witnessed all the miracles that Jesus Christ performed, healing the sick, the blind, the deaf, the lame, the dumb, even raising the dead, And so, when Jesus Christ was no longer with them, they were downcast, they were discouraged, and they went back to their former business, fishing. Well, they fished all through the night, and they caught nothing. Suddenly, a stranger appeared and said, Friends, cast your net for a catch. And suddenly, they caught a huge number of fish, that they couldn't haul in. And getting out of the water, they saw a charcoal fire. The charcoal fire reminding St. Peter of the same charcoal fire that was on when he denied our Lord Jesus Christ. Remember on Holy Thursday, they asked St. Peter, do you know Jesus Christ? And he said, no, I don't know him. They asked him the second time, do you know him? He said, no, I don't know him. One girl said, we saw you walking with him and preaching with him. He said, no, that wasn't me. And the cock crowed. And so today was a public opportunity for St. Peter to profess his repentance through love. So Jesus Christ asked St. Peter, do you love me? He said, yes, Lord, I love you. He asked him the second time, do you love me? He said, yes, I love you. He asked him the third time, Peter, do you truly love me more than these ones? He said, Lord, you know everything. You know that I love you. The three times that he professed the love of Jesus Christ, Balances with the three times that he denied our Lord Jesus Christ. And so at that time, Jesus Christ said, feed my sheep. That was the second chance that Jesus Christ gave to St. Peter. That second chance propelled him to preach the gospel message, strengthened him, gave him that faith to stay and to preach without fearing anyone again. What a wonderful message. As our kids receive the first communion today, Jesus Christ asking them, do you love me? So I ask you, Sophia, you love Jesus Christ? 
Good. Morgan, you love Jesus Christ? Good. Chase, you love Jesus Christ? Great. Mary, you love Jesus Christ? Amen. All of them love Jesus Christ, and that is the reason why they are here. To receive Jesus Christ for the first time. Today is a special day for you. And that is the reason why you are wearing this beautiful dress. It reminded me of the day that I received my own first Holy Communion. See me? This is me. See me taking a picture with a white priest? Today you take a picture with a black priest. <laughs> you see me? Yeah. yeah, I see. Where am I? You see me? It's my pastor. Today, this person will turn to black today. huh? You see me? It is a beautiful day for them. A beautiful day that they will never forget in their lives. The day that our Lord Jesus Christ came to your life and you received him. Today you take pictures with everyone that have visited or have come to celebrate with you. Today they will give you gifts. Maybe rosaries, maybe pictures, maybe Bible, maybe money. And you have said that you love Jesus Christ. And so if you love Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ wants you to be praying every morning. When you wake up every morning, you do the sign of the cross. All right, go ahead and do the sign of the cross in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Good. You do it. You thank Jesus Christ every morning. Thank you for a beautiful day. And ask him to guide you. Before you go to bed, you make the sign of the cross again. Because once you receive Jesus Christ today, you are holy. Every time you be keeping your hands this way, just pray. And once you receive Jesus Christ today, another thing is no more fighting. You don't fight again. No more fighting with your siblings. No more fighting in school. Chase, do you hear it? No way. You don't fight anymore. Be- Because you are holy. Morgan, did you hear me? Good. He said what? He said great. Yeah. (laughs) So as you receive Jesus Christ today, your faith equally grows. You are a special person before Jesus Christ. So we are happy with you, and we're happy for you. That's the reason why we all have gathered for you. And I want to thank the parents of these kids. No matter what the teachers teach these kids in class, if you don't continue the teaching, then they wouldn't be here today. Thank you so much for helping them to pray. Thank you for guiding them. 99% of what our kids do are not what we tell them to do, but what they see us do. And so if they see us praying, they will begin to pray. If they see us loving our neighbors, they will begin to love others. If they see us serving in the church and in the community, they will grow up being compassionate in the world. So you are the role models. And I want to thank you, the parents. I want to thank our faith formation coordinator, Mitzi. Thank you so much. I want to thank the catechists. I want to thank all our teachers. I want to thank all of you for helping these kids to grow in faith. I want to thank you for listening to these kids when they ask their questions, even when they have funny questions. 
I want to thank you for helping them grow in faith. I want to, to thank you for guiding them to the place they are today. For all this, thanks to you, thanks to the teachers, thanks to the cat kids. I want to thank families that have gathered to celebrate with them today. I say it again, don't forget to take pictures with them. Years to come, when they will get the pictures, they will see you around them. And equally pray for them. Pray that the Jesus Christ that they will receive today, that that light will be shining every day in their lives. And for our parishioners, what is your name? What is your name? Um, Liam? Liam? Okay, thank you for coming to our church today. You're welcome. Okay, good. <laughs> so for everyone that is here today in our church, I want you to reflect on the dialogue between St. Peter and Jesus Christ today. If not for the spirit of forgiveness, when Jesus Christ resurrected and came to the apostles and said, peace be with you, he could have said, peace be with you, except St. Peter who denied me three times. But he didn't do that. He forgave St. Peter. He gave St. Peter the second chance. And he said, you love me. Do you love me? Do you really love me? And he said, yes. And those three times balances with the three times he denied our Lord. He gave him a second chance. Without that second chance, St. Peter couldn't have professed the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. With that second chance, St. Peter said to Emperor Nero, Nero, you live today, tomorrow you will die. Jesus Christ lives today, tomorrow, and forever. And St. Peter was crucified upside down. We too are testimony of this faith. Through the sacrament of baptism, through the sacrament of the Holy Eucharist, through the sacrament of confirmation. And so the same question comes to us today. Do you truly love me? There are moments in our lives that we have made mistakes. Moments that we have said the things we didn't want to say. Moments that people have said horrible things to us and about us. And we have said, we will never forgive this person. There are moments that friends have betrayed certain trust. And they are no longer ready to trust anyone. The friendship is shattered. There are times in families that spouses have had misunderstanding. And that has lingered on and on and on. And is bringing a big rift in the family. But amongst all these things, Jesus Christ is asking us this question. Do you truly love me? And if you truly love me, Christ wants you to give a second chance to that your friend that has hurt you. Christ wants you to give a second chance to your spouse who has offended you for a very long time. And you are not willing to forgive. Christ wants you to give a second chance to your kids. A second chance to your parents. He wants you to love, to care, and to forgive. Remember, forgiveness is the road that we all must pass through for us to go to heaven. Give a second chance. To someone that has hurt you today, and you will be happy all the days 
of your life.